here. Okay. So it's a pleasure to, to host you. And well, with this interview, I'd like to start a little bit going way back. Um, if I tell you new word or omen, what does that remind you? Oh, that Prudio was actually one of the most newer ones. I would say one of the main, the biggest clubs I started playing mm -hmm. my town. So it really makes part of my my career as a DJ. Yeah, let's say it's one of the most important clubs I played when I was starting to DJ. Mm -hmm. What was the vibe at that time there? Because I guess it was one of the best periods for Madrid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Let's say the most, the best periods for I think maybe the whole Spain, but also for Madrid. It was the end of the 80s and the starting. Mm -hmm. In the beginning of the 90s. Mm -hmm. So that time it was about 91, 92. So the vibe was maybe a little bit different from these days because now it's like electronic music is more popular, right? Uh -huh. So it's, it gets bigger, so maybe it gets different. I would say it was fresh at that time, you know, these early years, so everyone was getting crazy with, with, uh, with this kind of music. So it was the beginning of the electronic music, that's what in Madrid. So. Yeah, it's a bit different. I wouldn't say it was better or just different. Mm -hmm. What were you playing at that time? Uh, actually, I was playing in two different clubs at that time. Well, the first club where I used to play on Friday and Saturday night was during the night. It was all about goth music and pop and, mm -hmm. you know, real dark music, but more rock oriented, right? Okay. And then in the new world, it was more about like electronic body music, bands like From 242. Uh, I don't know, really music for that time of the 90s, split sacred and stuff like that. Um, one thing that we the Italians keep asking ourselves is why in Spain festivals are doing so great? Um, because I have to say that here in Italy it's quite difficult to have a festival. I mean, mm -hmm. we tried several times but they didn't succeed. We, we ain't got sonars, we ain't got uh, moneros and stuff like that. Why is it working so well in Spain? I don't know. Maybe it's kind of cyclic scene. In the beginning in the 90s, it was more about like uh, everything was happening in the clubs mm -hmm. during the night, during the, the nightlife, right? So it was all about clubs. But then, let's say like 10 years or 8 years ago, the festivals started happening, you know, and it started doing very well. And now it's, it's like the other way around. It's like the clubs are having really bad times, mm -hmm. especially in the summertime when all those festivals are happening, like yeah. whatever, or something or whatever. So then, the summertime for the clubs, it's, it's not doing that well, mm -hmm. but the festival is still growing up and growing up. Mm -hmm. I don't know, in my case, it's really different different thing, like playing in a club or playing in a festival, it really makes a big difference. But I don't know exactly why is the reason. Maybe as we were talking before, like, this electronic musical club thing is getting more and more bigger, mm -hmm. and probably it's getting more popular, and, and, and it comes like that, you know, bigger events also. So. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe Altavots is something in between, in this gap between clubs and festivals, because it's like several clubs in the same area. It's, mm -hmm. Maybe it's not a proper festival, but it seems like it's a festival for real. What's your impression about this event? Ah, I really enjoyed it. Also last time when I came here, I think it was like two, three years ago. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure about it. But the most important thing is that you get a, a good bike, you know. Yeah. The important thing is with the people that is on the dance floor is taking care of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel right now, you know, when I was playing. And that's the most important thing, you know. Things can be better, obviously, like everything can be improved and everything can be bigger and, mm -hmm. and still growing up. But the important thing is getting the, this vibe between the, the audience and the guy who's playing. You know? So mm -hmm. I think that's important. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Are there any Italian DJs or producers that you really respect? Mm, always like Mark Parola. I was like as a DJ, it's, I don't know, I really like his skills like DJ. He has changed his music, he's not playing in that segment that much, he used to be in the 90s, but I always respect Marco. But yeah, there's a lot of Italian DJs that I always meet and there's a good technique and good skills, so I don't know, it's difficult just to say one. <laughs> <laughs> but does the taste of the techno crowd change from country to country? I mean, does the Italian techno crowd have some particular um, feelings or reactions mm -hmm. or tastes? I don't know, in my case it's like Italian crowd, mm -hmm. for me, coming from Spain, is quite similar to the Spanish crowd, so, but yeah, obviously, it depends where you're, where you're gonna play or you're gonna perform, you're gonna find some difference with the crowd, especially if you go to Asia, mm -hmm. or you go to South America, it's gonna be a bit different from Europe, so, yeah, every time is different, it depends the place you, you play. Do you see yourself traveling and being a DJ even in the next, I don't know, 20 years? 
Mm, I don't know. Now it's almost like 20 years vegan, actually. And traveling every week is about 15 or 16 years. It really depends if it's still, this is still like good fun for me. Mm -hmm. I will keep, keep on doing it, you mm -hmm. know? It's all about having fun and enjoying it and, and of course making the people enjoy the body music. So as far as this is still happening, I will do it. Do you prefer to DJ or to travel with your motorbike? Ah, oh, that's a good <laughs> question. I know really different things. I enjoy it with both things really. When I'm riding my bike, I just think about nothing, just riding. And when I'm DJing, I just, I don't know, trying to, to, to tell something. You know, through music and try to communicate with people. So, but when I'm riding my my bike, my bike, just communicating with myself and the road. It's all about that. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank hope you. Hope you will come <laughs> again. Yeah, hopefully soon. soon. Thanks again. Okay. <laughs> Bye.